But too late, they missed your joke now. They missed my joke about the Vorpal Mace? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, river. Better tell it again. Just, will. <laughs> tell it again. Uh, again. Uh, okay. Welcome to Lawful Stupid, home of the Vorpal Mace. It still decapitates on a roll of 20 <laughs> or higher. But, uh, it makes a lot of mess. You're going to need a, a goggles and a bib and a snorkel. Such presence. It was, it was missing something. But... <laughs> there was a certain je ne sais quoi that I, I think maybe. Yes. Yeah, yeah you missed it. it you, you, you needed to be there. Yeah, uh, sorry guys, that was my that was my cock up. Um, As my, well, my other I head- kill your stupid elf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my other headset weren't working, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. Yeah, it does. Oh my god! I'll start writing a, an epitaph for J. Darius Blatt. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. Okay. So you have rescued Bellis from the clutch of the dastardly slavers who caught her with her pants down. The DM said, take all your clothes off and jump in this pool. It'll be fine. And she did. <laughs> Good times. Uh, okay. You have, all, you have also heard that um, Jadarian's mother, Camanthalia, came to Galhnoi, passed by the moonlight settlements of Flamebow, and headed onwards to Coralon's Tear. According to ancient legend, the god Coralon Lorethian shed tears which fell to earth, and from these, the Evelar, forerunners of the elves, were born. Now, back at Flamebow, recuperating from your uh, brief encounter with Colox and his slavers, by brief encounter I mean lightning bolts and uh, poison needles, and lots of dead slavers, you now prepare to follow your guide further into the west to see Coralon's tear. Dorath. The scrawny moon white waits until his uh, his mother has finished healing the last of your injuries from the battle with the slavers. Let us be on our way, he says. And leads you onward and outward, away from flame bow, away from the rivers, and off toward a uh, a distant mountain range. <clears throat> Do we get time to replenish some spells? Yes, certainly. You're under no immediate time pressure. You've set your own uh, deadlines here. So should you wish to refresh your spells, you can take a few hours of rest and uh, preparation time to do exactly that. Yes, please. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I right. would like to do the same, so I'll take a nap. Me yeah. also, I'll take a nap. Aldrick is going to do a few uh, um, weapon maneuvers and practice some of the new tricks he's been taught by the tieflings. By the tieflings, yes. Of okay, course he good. is. Can't leave his weapon alone, can he? <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. He likes to play with it. Yeah. Stop, yeah. stop. Grip it by the shaft and swing stop, the heavy stop. end towards the enemy. Yes, uh, that's how we do it. The pointy end goes into it. No. Uh, <laughs> boy, oh boy. I don't want to hear that. All right, Hagen's going to keep an eye out while everyone else is having nap times. Okay. I would be doing the same. Rested, recuperated, and respelled. <clears throat> As I say, Dorath leads you toward the mountains, and specifically toward a broad mountain pass. Down it, the valley, wide, flat-bottomed, winds its way between a pair of immense statues. Here, since the time of the ancient Ethelar, the uh, Elvenath, they're called. Oh, wow. Perhaps not. I take and a moment a, to admire those. There's a little person on the bottom uh, on a horse for scale. Wow. I shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it takes you several hours of travel down the length of the canyon. Up ahead, you can see storm clouds gather. The mountains seem to form a wide ring 
as the valley opens out. And beyond it, your first view of the ruined city comes into uh, into sight. Wow. Built around a massive outcrop of stone, there's some kind of immense statue atop it. An ancient god, an Ethelar hero, the depiction of Corallon himself. You're not sure. Here, Dorath comes to a halt. I'll go no further, he says. This is what we told you about, the haunted city. Don't go in it. The Ethelar slew one of the elder race there and its body is still in the city. Its ghost haunts the ruins. Understand? If you go in there and get yourselves murdered, we're not coming in to get you. Understood. The tear. You'll find it past the city. Behind that statue. On the far side of the city. That's where it is. Mark, it's not entirely clear from the image. Is the city in front of a mountain which has the statue on it, or is... Okay, yeah, so if the image isn't clear enough, yeah, there's a city, and then there's a big outcrop of rock with a giant statue, and behind all of that, that's where he says the tear is. So okay, behind, behind the, the rock with the statue. Okay. So the city, it's, the city yeah. itself is kind of... Uh, at the base of the big outcrop. At the base, okay, gotcha. Right. Okay, so... um. Are you uh, following his instructions, or are you going to uh, go do a bit of exploring in the city? Well, I think naturally we should go into the city. Uh, I think <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Is this absolutely. like the same sort of thing as don't go down the well? Oh yeah. Um, I say we 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 uh, head towards that lake on the on the left, and kind of keep give the city a wide berth. I think that's a sensible idea. Okay, then. No. Because I don't think we can city. scale that mountain. No, I think we should take the canyon between the mountain uh, and, and, the, and the, the ledge. Yes, and we kind of err towards the uh, left hand side of that canyon. <laughs> Sam and Aliante nods. I think it would be unwise to um, rouse any ghosts of the Elder Race. Yes, that seems like a bad idea. Obviously, the architecture here, you know, it's obviously, <clears throat> you say it's an ancient elven city, yeah? Yes. Well, the architecture you can see does it look appears. Elven? Does it look elven? Did you say does it or doesn't? Does it look elven? Like no, not like anything you've seen. Old sweeping forms appear to be almost more grown than hewn from rock. But the amount of weathering and uh, erosion that you're seeing here, I mean, the, the statue is a good example of that. It's almost impossible to make out any details. So you can't see what kind of shape the statue ha- has or what the, uh, the, the this god looks like. <laughs> Most of it's been broken away. There's some, there's a, like a swirly bit that looks like it might be a tail or a, a tentacle. It looks as if it was gripping it in its left hand. But beyond that, no, as you can see, all the details have been smashed and broken. Does that, 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 that tentacle thing, does that uh, ring a bell? In religious lore, maybe, or something like that? Not really. Okay. Mind you, the only... Without wanting to say his name out loud, Demogorgon has tentacles for arms. Oh. So, oh for God's oh. sake. Just because he's been in the, you know, he's been a subject of non-conversation for a while. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. Oh... Was that in character, or was that...? Uh, no, he used the name. I can't remember what he said. Oh, it was, um... Mm. Fl- Flimu Florigan. <laughs> Flimu Bob. Tentacle boy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get a move on, then. Yeah. Are yeah, we... We're on, we're, on, we're on foot, We're on right? foot, we're on foot yeah. Not, yeah, okay. I'll scout uh, ahead. Uh, yeah, lead the way. Okay. 
The air darkens. The storm clouds beyond the city are heavy and oppressive. And a chill wind blows down the canyon towards you. It carries with it that elven woman's voice. And once more, Jadarian, you hear your name carried on the winds. I pick up the pace. Simon Daliente looks at you. Well, I'm up ahead, so yeah. Okay, so Jadarian, rounding the rear of the city where the storm clouds gather the thickest, you are the first to catch sight of what must be the tear of Coral. Wow. If a tear once it was, it has long since calcified and become a massive outcrop of something that once fell to earth and then just stayed there, growing more and more solid, stone-like, congealed over millennia too many to count. Again, um, the little people you can see down the bottom are just there for scale. They're not actually there. Oh, those are people. Yes. That gives you an idea of the size of what you're looking at. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think it's a mile tall. <laughs> Your companions catch up with you behind you, Jadarian. And... Yeah, you're halted in your tracks looking at the thing. Well, there's a sight to behold. Certainly. I'll write a song about it. Yeah, you do that. Chanter this whole time has just been playing with uh, Squee. Um, and then when everyone kind of comes to a halt, she'll probably bump into someone's back and then look up and be like, Oi! Oh, so sorry. <laughs> um, that's a... What, what is that? Corillian's tear. Allegedly the tear of a god. Mm. Is Corillian uh, a, 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 a god that is worshipped at the moment? Or Not is he, anymore. Is he, oh, no. he's a dead god, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in fact, legend has it that he was poisoned by the mother of all dragons on the night of no stars. Ah, yes. That Tiamat? Yeah, that's her. Yes! Tiamat! Sorry, I really like her. And, um... Right, so let's look for an entrance then. I'll head off. Okay. Why Maybe that big hole. Yeah. <clears throat> Jadarian... You draw nearer, looking at the numerous apertures on the rear of the uh, of the shape. There's a mist coiling around your feet. It uh, becomes more more present, thicker, more roiling. The closer you get. And ahead of you, you can see there's almost like a, a vortex churning within it. And light, little lightning bolts running through the mist, coalescing, coming together at this central spot where the vortex now moves faster and faster and begins to extrude a tendril upwards from the mist. The tendril's spinning also, growing thicker, wider, and taller. I move back and knock an arrow. Um, okay. The rest of you, of course, can see this as well. Yeah, how far ahead of this... Uh, oh, sorry, how far ahead of us is this thing? How far ahead of the group are you, Jadarian? Probably about 50 foot. Okay, so okay. it's about 20 foot ahead of him. So 70 foot away from you. Okay. 
Okay, Jadarian, in the midst of the uh, the mist, you can see now a shape is beginning to appear. Spectral, yet with some considerable cohesion to it. Just over a, just around a couple of dozen yards away from you, you begin to glimpse some of its features. Tall, taller than an elf, taller than a man, eight, nine feet tall, at least in height it must be. With an elongated skull and a blazing malice in its ancient eyes, wreathed in this spectral carapace. You know what? I take an action to cry. Take an action to cry. Okay. You can have that as a free action. I am a kind and generous DM. Oh God. Lovely. I would also like to take an action to cry. It steps or glides forward. And this sound comes out of it. Vwamesh Yasai and the lost. Do I know what that's language that is or yes do i understand this <laughs> you you have don't pee. never heard it before ever i study ancient languages uh-huh the words themselves hit you like an impact and you see where the words ripple across your skin your skin breaks open how its speech alone is injurious to you you take five points of damage puts you on 19. the rest wow. of us too or just him just him, because he's close okay. enough. Is that, is that word magic? You, <laughs> you take your own guess. Can and I with lose my arrow? arrow? Um, it, okay, all right. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Why oh, wouldn't no. I? I like a cat. A little, a little late, perhaps. Goodbye to Darian. Okay, it's armor class 25. <clears throat> oh dear. Well, that would be a miss. Okay, um, the arrow flies past it. Well, that's my free action, then. That's enough. It's just attacked me. What would I do? Suddenly, the thing is moving with a flurry of speed like you have never seen. Rushes towards you. <sighs> and the uh, enormous shadowy pole arm that it's carrying <laughs> swings down towards you. No. Oh, natural 20. Okay. Oh, jeez. 12 damage. No. <laughs> oh, bloody John. hell. Um, Bellis uh, runs forward in, 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 with a placating motion. Uh, okay. As soon as you run forward at the same time, it stretches its other hand out towards you, Bellis. There is a blast of furious white energy from its hand. Is it as it unleashes magic within seconds of having attacked Jadarian? Save against spells, please. At least you've got one. 18. 18. Okay. Uh, in that case, you only take five damage from the furious white fire that slams into you, spins you half off your feet. Uh, uh, are we on initiative, or is this let's, just let's, sort of... Let's, let's roll for initiative, go on. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, Aldric. Five. Uh, okay, Bellis. Modified six. Six. Shanta. Five. Okay, Hagen. Four. Um. Four. Four. Jadarian. Same. Minimum Four. I can get. Avil. Six. Six, okay. So that's uh, Avil and Bellis on sixes, Aldric and uh, Shanta on fives. Um, this spectral thing though goes on a 10. Um, it steps right up next to you, uh, Jadarian. And now you see through the smoke as if this strange smoky carapace envelops you. As it does so, the mere proximity to the creature deals you another one point of damage. You're on six hit points. Oh dear. But you get a close-up look at what it looks like. Just 
ageless, eternal, burning hatred within a shimmering aura of naked spell energy. And that will hit armor class 20. Jadarian, you have armor class 16. Uh, 17. 17, okay. 18, because I've moved. Three. Oh, what a terrible... Two and a one, what a terrible roll. Yeah, it's terrible. Puts, puts you on four hit points. Um, <laughs> this is going well. But it's just... That's hit me twice, I haven't had a go yet. At the same time, another spell blast comes hurtling in your direction as you're the nearest thing to it. Another save against spells, please. Another 18. Okay. Uh, again, now you're alerted to it. Only a glancing blow. Five halved is two damage to you, Bellis. Puts you on 12. Ooh. Okay, Bellis and Avil, you're up. Uh, Shantra and Aldrich next. Avil first, please. You have the higher decks. No, you don't. No, you don't. Bellis does. Ah. Okay, well, thank God, because I had no <laughs> idea what I was going to do. Nimble little moonlight. Um, I pray to the gods and um, the the ghost mother to provide. Uh, is 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 a Jadarian within uh, in range of uh, your my... bursty thing? Yes. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Bursty thing. Maybe if you're lucky, the bursty thing has some kind of other effect. Last cannon. Something, hopefully. something tells something tells me it doesn't. Uh, but seventeen points of uh, seventeen. Okay, puts you on twenty-one, Jadarian. Uh, it gets through the thing's magic resistance. Although he rolls a twenty on a saving throw, uh, and so takes eight damage. Oh. Yes, it's undead. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay. And it turns its just glaring eyes full upon you. Come and queen, it says. Um, Judarian, because you're right next to it, uh, you take four points of damage from hearing the words. Oh, Go back down to 17. My pencil's running out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Avil. Um, uh, can I hide? Behind a rock, please. <laughs> You're gonna go hide behind a rock. Okay, I, nice one. I can't do anything. I mean, magic sword. Oh, I, I, what am I gonna do? Throw it at him? Stop his toe. It's his Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm gonna. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm gonna try and hit him with my sword. Whatever. Okay. As you charge up to the creature, um, Avil, you take three damage from just getting in proximity to it. That puts you on 20 hit points. You'll literally start bleeding at the corners of your eyes and your nose. Great. And then you can roll to hit Arden Glass 25. Oh, lovely. One. <laughs> okay. It just simply backhands you away with its enormous spectral fist. Okay. Uh, Aldrich and uh, Shanta. Hagen and uh, Judarian, you're last. Okay. Um, <laughs> who's first, Chanta or me? Uh, Chanta will look at Aldrich and just be like, what do we do? And she will hold her action to see what Aldrich does. Yeah. Okay. In that case, um, screw it. Uh, he he uh, goes in, uh, saves one attack for a perfect parry. And tries to use the uh, the uh, half strike to, um, yeah, just tries to use the half strike to hit him. See if it even hurts him. Okay, AC twenty five. Uh, I hit AC twenty six. Okay, you take a point of damage from proximity to the thing's life draining aura. And I do nine points of damage. No, you don't. The half simply passes through its spectral aura and That's fails to I connect thought. with anything <laughs> solid inside. Okay, I use my my movement to uh, interpose myself between myself uh, between him and Bellis. Okay, Shanta. Um, seeing that and it not doing much, she's gonna um, 
armor herself. Pretty much. Okay. Alright. And kind of kind of go behind a rock, but kind of in almost like a praying position. Like like a real like the most weak surrendering thing you can think of. Okay, and finally, uh, Hagen and Jadarian. And I guess uh, Actually, Hagen, with your new gauntlets, you and Jadarian act at the same time. Uh, okay. Ooh. Now, I I don't suppose there's any way to break this thing's line of sight, could I? Not to be a one-trick pony. Huh. You know, with the darkness of the storm clouds and the broken nature of the terrain, uh, that's what dice rolls are for, so uh, go ahead. Um, make, make me a hide in the shadows roll, and uh, you can certainly get yourself in position for a backstab. That is 59. 59. That's by one point. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, no assassination because it's already dead, but you can make a backstab. I will make a backstab, definitely, with the uh, mad dagger, of course. Um, yeah. Uh, what's, what's the backstab bonus to the attack again? Plus four. Plus four. Okay, and then I normally have a plus seven with it anyway. So that so plus eleven. I've rolled. I've rolled a fourteen. Plus uh, eleven is twenty-five. That's, that's oh. a hit. It is. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Two damage to you just from getting close to it. First off, and right. then give me uh, triple damage on the on the blade. That's right. So five. Um, that's five is ten, so that's thirty. Okay. Um, the blade flashes bright as you plunge it into the back of the undead creature's uh, shimmering torso. It stumbles sideways, white energy bleeding out of its spectral aura and spins around, bringing the... Uh, Hold on to bear upon you, Jadarian. Um, I'm going to shout at Chanta to use the wand. And then I'm going to back up 30 foot. Does this thing look like it's struggling or? Mm. No? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I move 30 foot away from it. Yeah. And I'm going to shoot it with two magical arrows. Okay. Oh, one at a time. First one would be 15 on a dice, so that's going to be a 20, uh, 30, uh, 27. Oh, fuck's sake, minimum damage. That is uh, 7 damage. Still up, I take it. Yeah, the arrow. Second arrow. arrow. Oh, Deep another, in the creature. Another 15 on a dice, so that's going to be a hit again. Fuck's sake, minimum damage again. Another 7. God, 14 off. Uh, okay. Going so well. The this two arrows fine. strike home. Uh, the thing is beginning to show signs of nearing discorporation, where the wounds have been dealt to its body. There's white energy pouring out like smoke from a chimney. It kind of spins around, eyes blazing glares and snarls and again it speaks Defal Amaf it says um, and I make Hagen and Avil and Aldric being the only ones close by to it mm -hmm. so you all take three damage from the words of power that it's uttering okay I took three damage the last time as well didn't I so yeah, I'm so on you, 17 yeah, I'm on 39 right yep 39 for Aldric this is Bollocks. Uh, 28. Uh, you're on 26, Hagen. Ah, uh, okay. That's right. Uh, I had some damage from last time. I've already on 17. Okay, but it's not stopping there. Uh, as I said, it's turned to face you, uh, Hagen. Hits armor class 20 with a massive strike from its poem. And Hagen, yeah, you're on 15. That's... Ooh, 11 damage. Ouch. 
Finally, it's not me getting battered. And almost without looking, it sends uh, a magical bolt <laughs> over its shoulder towards you, Jadarian. Oh, I opened my fucking mouth. <laughs> should have <laughs> <should've> pressed record, <laughs> shouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Save against spells, please. Oh, oh my god. Six on a dice. Please don't die. Oh yeah. my god, six on a dice. Oh okay. yeah, again. Oh my god. Save against don't spells. Where is that? That's a fail. Uh, um, nine. Yeah, but it's uh, not a solid blow, and you only take four damage, putting you out to 13 hit points. The uh, white energy slams into your torso. You stagger backwards, smoking wound in your chest, but you're still up. Okay, Bellis and Avil. Aldrich and Chanta next. Bellis uh, grabs her holy symbol and holds up the tear and goes into prayer, and she calls upon her faith in preparation of her next action. Okay. And Avil? Um, okay, I'm gonna look at Aldric and see if he wants my magic sword. I throw it at my dude! I throw it at him! <laughs> it's the Ballon shuffle! <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Once um, again, here we go. Maybe we should just have a caddy that follows us around. <laughs> <laughs> with all the weapons and we just... Shing! There you go. Uh, okay. Is that my action for the round? You can move as well if you want. Um, can I move to take out my Vangelili and do inspiration? Yeah, the actual inspiration will be next round. Okay, never mind. Can I move to take out my Vangelili though? Yeah. Nice. I'm waiting like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like you're holding a shotgun. Uh, <laughs> a shot, Lely. Okay, there's a flurry of magical energy as uh, Summon Daliante unleashes a trio of magic missiles 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage uh, against the creature. Uh, and shouts, Stay back, Jadarian! Stay back! Come on, little sister, stick it up for me. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, Aww. and then uh, Shanter and Aldric. Um, Hagen and Jadarian, you're last. Okay. Um, Santa will uh, I, just shout to Aldrich to move out the way. Okay. Move out the way. Go. <laughs> All right. I'm going to um, uh, take the sword uh, that uh, Avil gave me. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll plant my um, uh, rancer in the ground, pull out the shield, and uh, roll out of the way, and, okay. and, and get ready to, uh, to attack after she's done her thing. Gotcha. All right, uh, Panda, roll me 6d6, please. I wanted to say I like you. <laughs> All right, 6d6, 6d6, okay. Uh, but okay, I don't even think I've got 6d6. All right, I'll have to use, I've got five. You can, you can roll one die six times. <clears throat> so two ones, three a five, a two and a six. Oh, okay. Add them up. <laughs> Add them up. What? No, no. I, I can't. So that's that. ten. Ten. Calculator. Twelve. No, Eighteen. Five, five, six, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Um, the thing flattens itself with incredible speed. Uh, but it's not enough to avoid the blast of the lightning bolt entirely, and you rip a huge chunk out of its spectral behind. Uh, there's white light floods the area. All of you, your hair stands on end as the lightning bolt goes flying past you all and strikes the spectral form. Okay, I use that momentary distraction and pounce on the, on the, on the creature and attack it. Okay. And that is a... Wait, I need to double check what my to hit roll is on this. Because it's not the full whack. Um, that is a modified 27. All right, hit. And it's a D8, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that is a total of seven damage. Seven. Okay. The blade comes down, shears into the thing's body and there is a flash of white energy. All of you are momentarily blinded. Ow. When your vision returns, you just see Aldrich standing there, 
with a huge black explosion smear on the ground all around him. His cloak billowing off into the... Distance. Yeah, it billows totally. <laughs> um, That's my roller! So oh, dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> the mists dissipate. And then slowly... No, 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 no. Begin to no. come back together. Oh, no, 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 God I start stabbing sake. it. <laughs> um, 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 is there is there anything there left which I can cast a spell on? Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, I would like to see whether the the death prayer would help here. The death prayer to make it uh, stop from forming together uh, yes. again. Yes, sure. Okay, oh. um, guys, we need to camera reset quickly. Yeah, so it yeah, should, should just be sorry. Just Zoom be Mark, Avil, and Hagen. Um, da, 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 da. So Avil, camera off. Oh yeah, sorry. And Aldrich, camera off. Hagen, back on. Yep. No, no, that's wrong. So sorry, Bellis off. Just Bellis, turn off and then on again. Sorry, guys. Oh. No, oh, hang on. Hey. No. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Leave it. <laughs> Jesus. Aldrich. <laughs> Ravel, Mark. We have okay. returned. Um, <laughs> Bellis, then you step forward and summon the Ghost Mother's power to hold spirits where they are. Yes. And I, I will use the call of faith to boost it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The mist holds, shimmering like a white sea with little sparks <laughs> moving what through What did you it. do? Is there anything left on the floor from this thing? Nothing, no. Um, I, um, I take out my uh, flask of holy water and start trying and spray that over the, the mist. Okay, where the holy water goes into the mist, little plumes of steam arise. The strange mobile sparks that are running through it don't dissipate. You think that whatever you've done has held it back for a short time. You know this spell isn't permanent, however. How much time do we have, Bellis? But it's something. Uh, um, uh, good question, actually. Let me just check. Ooh. I'm basically standing there at the ready <laughs> with shield out. You know? <laughs> I am too, remember? Yeah, Chanta stood there with like a straight out pose with this one of lightning looking really cool and stuff. <laughs> Jadir is standing there feeling useless now. Yeah, this, it is no I can't hit anything no more. Oh, you don't have any more magical arrows? I've got arrows. one more magical arrow. Then you can still do something. <laughs> Once. It's, so it's actually dam the, 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 it's being damaged or not? You can't tell. No. Okay, there's no duration, of course, for this. So this would... So... It retards its ability. That's all yeah. it does. But It will come back. So it, we'll it depends on what... Um, yeah. um, and I can turn it. I'll try and turn it. See whether that helps. Whether that might dissipate it. I will this first call. I will first call on on. on um, uh, yeah, hang on a minute. On so, so, someone in chat was asking about the two, uh, the, the the version of two, second edition we're using. Mark, do you want to show him your little handbook? This is the version that we're using. <laughs> My version. <laughs> 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 okay, um, well, yeah, okay, so you're going to try and turn it. Yeah, call upon faith first uh, and make sure that uh, my turn uh, is, is thought through. And then uh, I will start and, and okay. bring forth the process of a turning attempt. Give me a d20 rolling, please. Uh, a 15. 15. Okay. There's no apparent change to the energies in the mists around you, but nor does whatever it is reconfigure itself. You've never encountered this before. 
You simply don't know what it is. No. Um, but let's... you've done the best you can. Yeah, let's move on. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. yeah. No point me. sitting around here waiting for this thing to return. No. Where did it come from anyway? It seems to come out of the mist itself. As if it were everywhere and nowhere. And then shows a point to appear. Yeah. Its essence dissipated throughout this part of the land, perhaps. Okay. Let's get done what we needed to get done here. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's going to come back. Agreed. Yeah. It clearly doesn't want us here. Clearly. <sighs> okay, how's everybody doing, by the way? Um, okay, uh, Aldrich, 39, yeah. Bellis, 12, Shanta, uh, 16, Hagen, 15, Judarian, 13, Avil, 17, Salmon Daliente, 4 million. <laughs> what class ah. is she? She's a wizard, isn't she? Uh, she's an NPC, so p player, player rules don't apply to her. Okay. I am going to do just a quick battlefield here, and as we're walking along or getting away from this thing, I'm just going to roll once for the whole party. That's yeah. fair enough. Uh, and that'll be two hit points back to everyone. Oh, okay. thanks. Nice. Thank I'm not a healer, but I could do a Appreciate little bit. It. Yeah, every little bit counts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, who is still uh, severely hurt here? Yeah, I think we all are, right? Oh, I know um, I am. I'm on 19. So. I didn't take any damage. Um, I can heal um, whoever's worse. worse I'm nine missing. Nine missing. Um, so I'm a third, third elf. Two thirds off. Two thirds health, sorry. I, uh, I'll, I'll give I'll, you a cure wounds. I'm, I'm 14 health down. Okay, I, I'm going to. Uh, Give Hagen a uh, uh, cure light, actually. Seven. Uh, nice. Right. Do daring, Thank you daring, get three. So what, sorry? You get three HP back. Well, thank you. What was Bellis doing? Um, I uh, healed Hagen. Oh, okay. Um, I'll do another cure light on... Um, on Hagen. Uh, it's two. Alright. Okay. End up on 26 there. And uh, a cure light on uh, Jadarian. Seven. Oh, back on four. So you're on max. Okay. Yeah. Thank you all. Okay. Um, and then I toward the great. Here you proceed, leaving the mist coiling, shimmering, sparkling behind you, waiting. By the way, I should be healed. I didn't get, uh, I, I got damaged, but then I got healed. Oh, you've, you didn't add your uh, to yourself yet? Yeah. Yeah, quite right. Okay. I return the sword to Avil. Thank you. Ret retrieve my run, sir, from the from the dirt. Okay. Ahead of you, the cavernous interior of the tier beckons. Cautiously, feet crunching on wet stone. That, if legend is to be believed, has not seen the trod of mortal being in. A dozen millennia or more, save perhaps for one person. And her voice echoes through the hallways towards you. Jadarian. Jadarian. Try, try to fight off the urge to run forward. Eventually, after winding your way, through cavern and hall and grotto and gallery, and each with a strange organic texture to them. Not that they were hollowed out, but as, as if they were simply places where, well, bubbles grew and then burst within whatever the primordial liquid that was shed here by coral and was in ancient days. Like walking 
through the interior of a slowly expanding foam. Light. Wavering light as if from a torch that burns with a pale white luminescence. As it grows stronger, so does the sound of your name. Something Daliante puts her hand on your shoulder. Why is she saying my name like that? Over and over again, why is she saying my name? She's saying your name. Can you not? Looks around. You, you can hear that, can't you? She's saying my name. I can't hear a thing. I'm not hearing anything. Have you been talking to an eye? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's speaking to both of us. Who is speaking? My mother's calling out to us. What Where is she is saying? From? Just our names. But Where in my head, she's saying my name. Okay. Are you, are, you sh- are you sure it's your mother? At this point, no. Obviously, it sounds like my mother, but... This is out of character, Mark. But am I noticing anything? Obviously, I know she's obviously in pain or she's being controlled or something like that. But you know, is there something that I can I pick up on? You know, the way she said my name as a child. You know, that sort of thing. Yes, is there, absolutely. Is there anything different? No. No. And that's perhaps what makes it all the more horrifying. It sounds like her. Um, she's like addressing both of you uh, have, have you tried talking back maybe she can respond it's probably not the best thing to do at the moment we don't know what this place is yet I look around we know there's ancient magics here as we've seen just outside we need to press on. We can't dilly dally here. Definitely. It's very dangerous here. So maybe me and Hagen will head up front. Yes. Tippy toe in. Right. Together then, elf and half elf. You proceed ahead of your companions a short way. The light grows brighter and brighter until eventually you find yourself in a chamber and here fashioned with stone at the heart of the tear. Any resemblances to Skyrim are completely coincidental, I insist. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of Borderlands. Oh my god, I've been there. Hanging in the middle of the chamber in front of you is a distorted, distended shape of flesh turned to energy, of life turned to light, of being twisted and pulled like taffy, just clinging to the last semblances of its integrity before being pulled apart entirely. Out of this light, this twisted, whirling form, comes the voice. And every now and then, as it shifts and as it moves, you catch the briefest glimpse just passing by your perception of your mother's face. And hanging in the midst of it, clutched in what must be the last impressionistic rendering of her hand, is the eye of Kalax that you have come here for. Whether the eye is pulling her apart, or keeping her here, 
or another force is attempting to just dissipate her or hold her essence prisoner. You can't tell. Uh, do we all see the... Uh... Now you catch up with the other two and see them and just kind of standing, staring at this strange energetic shape in the air. And it's it's being tied where? Where are the anchor points? It doesn't appear to be anchored to anything. It's, a, it's, it's like it's hanging and every now and then starts to pull itself apart. And it comes back again. Chancellor opens her. Attempts to balloon outward and then snaps back. Does it look like the like the the life force inside is trying to push out, or does it look like she's trying to hold it together? You can't tell. That's what okay. I'm saying. It's not oh, okay. clear oh, okay. what the forces at work here are. I'm right. just gonna open her box, get Squee, put him on her shoulder, and um, just look at um, the group and um, I can gather it and just put it in the box. The first eye we saw, you called it to it. You told... You commanded it. I... That that was, um... That was a, uh... A, a, a demon that I... No, but the original eye, you I, commanded it to go back into the eye, did you not? The, 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 the demon that was released, yes. Bellis is going to do a, a, a detect life spell. Life, right. Yes, there is life here. This thing is alive. In fact, it is pure life. Of all the castings of the spell you've ever done in your short life, you've never encountered a reading as strong and pure and wholesome and beautiful as this. This is pure life force. Okay, because that's the, the only thing that is left, basically. I will do a thought capture after this, after the detect life spell. Okay. Aldrich is keeping an eye out, um, in the just in the room to see if anything dangerous is happening, any anything that's approaching us. Yes. If that weird shadow thing is coming back. Yes. Yeah, me too. Okay. All right, you're out. John is just waiting for the uh, almost confirmation of the group to, to pull it. Um, okay. Explains her hesitant of, um, I, I don't want to take it if it will hurt the thing or release uh, it, or I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. We have to take it either way. I'm seeing what the, whether that actually is what we should be doing here. I'm, I'm trying to see whether, because this is, this, this is alive, this creature is alive, this person, whatever this is, it is alive. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm trying to figure out whether... It has a, yeah, it has, a, it has intention of us to take it or well, we shouldn't take it or so. You catch a, a conglomeration of words, but it's jumbled together in agony. Free me. And then children, a question. And then a word in Elven. Kahi. Sorry, I couldn't hear that. Kahi? Kahi. What? Kahi? Such longing. Kahi. I, I, I know Elven. What does it mean? It's a word that's hard to translate, but it is an ancient Elven ritual. It means homeland. In the, in the oldest stories of the Elves, mm -hmm. The elves that fled Galhanoi, the place that you are, the Evelar, pursued from there by the Elder Race, founded a land called Ardminia, where this woman, where Jadarian is from, to solidify, to coalesce the kingdom, to baptize it, if you will, the High King of the Elves, their very first, Kalatar Astaldo, committed Kahi. He abandoned his body 
and his life essence became one with the land. Okay, this is this similar process, which, which is where where your mother is in in transition to as well. Is that the creature outside? No, no, no. This is your mother. Your mother is becoming has has undone herself of of her her mortal coil, as it were, and she has become pure life life force. She's this is what she's longing for. Her her thought is that she's longing for this, and that we release her. This is what what, what I'm gathering from the thoughts in in, in, in here. What? Stammered down the antelope's horrified. No, we came here to save her. Uh, save, saving can happen in many forms. If this is what she wishes. No, we, I worked for 10 years for this. I learned the causeway. We came here to save her. It's okay. What are you saying, you horrible little thing? And I've been traveling for over 50 for this as well. There must it's, be another way. It's okay. For all we know, um, removing the eye, it, it freeing her may mean that she won't be in that and she'll come back. I'm sure Bellis just doesn't know in, in, in what way. Yeah. yeah, we should listen to Shanta. Um, Shanta's actually going to take her blanket off and she's going to wrap it around her. What's underneath the blanket? It's usually Chanter is underneath the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Okay. <laughs> it's just a blanket. I mean, under underneath, um, you just see more of her uh, kimono. Um, oh. Cherry okay. blossom, like lining and things like that. Um, nice. Yeah. Nothing too <laughs> extravagant. Um, it, this, um, it, it helps me when I'm feeling stressed. Um, and, and it's you. big enough if, if Jay Darian wants to get underneath as well. Aldrich looks over his shoulder like, what is going on back there? <laughs> um, we must take the eye. Gonna... Let's search around. There's got to be other options. Well, this, this horrible thing will uh, just shut up for now. I'm going to search uh, around the room. I'm sorry, something that the auntie says and looks at the floor. Jadarian. Dust and shadow. The crumbled remnants of the interior of the tear. I'm trying to look for what could have actually imprisoned her into this thing. There's nothing. There. Such for secret doors or wait under the dust there behind one of the monoliths there's a pile of something Going half covered in debris I'll scrape it away it's a backpack a robe boots tunic and a traveling cloak Clearly elven, or...? No, they don't look elven. They look imperial. Last time but worn? Do they look like they've been there long, or hidden there, or...? Ten years. No more than that. I'll search through them. Yeah. Some small coins, mirror, an old comb. A little carved amulet that shows a mountain with the river coming out of it. Jadarian. The energy is Darian. Kahi. Do I know what that is? You know exactly what it is. Every elf has heard the story of Kalatara Staldo climbing the Oratolore in the Mountain of Dreams to dissipate his essence throughout Ardminia, to become one with the land forever. Do I feel that that's her saying that, or the or the eye? You 
know it is me. I see your doubt. You know it is me. Uh, are we aware that this conversation is taking place? You can hear this whispering noise. Jadari can, of course, tell you what she's saying, but you can't make out the specific words. Someone down the he turns. She says it's her. I can hear. She says it's her. We have to save her. Is is there any way you can prove? Is there something she'd know that maybe the eye doesn't? Or something that she wouldn't tell the eye? Someone down there and he looks and even before the words are formed on her mouth, Jadarian, you hear the voice again. I sought to take the eye with me, hoping it would be unmade as I was unmade. It holds me here. Its power is strong. It does not want to go. I cannot rid myself of it. I want only to return. I relay this information. Uh, Chanter uh, opens the box and um, um, I, I, I have faith that if I was to get the eye and put it in the box that your mum would be okay but just just in case is there maybe something you guys want to say? Don't do it! If there's any chance that, it, if, that she could I place my hand on her shoulder You know it's the only way. I do not! How can you give up so easily? Look, it seems to me that what's happened here is that your mother has already started to undo herself. The spell has already taken place, and the only thing holding her there is the eye. You would be saving her against her wishes. I lost everything, my life, my love, my sons, my daughter. Your sons? I wanted only to return, to be one again with the seed here where it began. I say, your sons? You, Samandaliante and her brother. I thought to bring the, I could not pay the dragon's price. What was the dragon's price? The life of my daughter. Why would he ask such a thing? To be fleshed again. To be out of the circle. To have his vengeance. On elf, on man. To unmake the eyes, unmake the crown, to be freed of his bond. The crown is binding it? The great eye sits within the crown. And that is what bound the dragons. It is a Let's 
So the eyes are what trapped the dragon. It is what the houses used to bind the dragons to their service, is what the feeling is that I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's okay, um, Mrs. Jadarian. Um, I I made a deal with the dragon, and 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 it's gonna be okay. Um, I can I can get the eye, and we can destroy it, and when we do, you'll come back together. Son. <clears throat> How? Take it. I will return home, the home that birthed us all, that dreams us all. I look to my sister. You can't. You can't do this. There has to be a way. I look to Bellis. Do you know of any other way? To unmake the state that she's in? No. That's, if it's even possible, it's, it's far beyond my, 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 my skills. Have I got any magical knowledge of how? To unmake Kahi? Mm. A wish? True magic, yes. I'll look around in my pockets for one. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Funny enough, I just I did just go to the Enigma Moon, so <laughs> Mm-hmm. Would I know anything <clears throat> of a, an eye being able to do this to a person? The eye almost certainly has the power to halt it. And yeah, I suppose if you called upon a demon lord, he could grant you a wish to reverse it. I'm Don't sure he dare. would, wouldn't he? That's his, his favorite thing. I'm sure, sure he'd love that, wouldn't he? He'd free her and then take the mum back. Um, no, Ch Chancer would actually consider this. Um, what are your are your pinkies twitching? <laughs> I say, um, who is this brother you speak of? Malagoria. What does that mean? Is that a name in Elvish? Yes, it is. <clears throat> Where is he? I lost him. I lost you. Only Sam and Daliente remains to me. I could not give her up as well. I've spent half a century looking for you. Obviously against father's wishes. Stay with him I know. in that prison. I know. Throughout the millennia since the bright conflict, Ardminia has been a prison for our race. Fifteen thousand years. Throughout the night with no stars. And the thousand years since, I want only to return home now. 
to be one with the dreamer, to no longer be the dream. <clears throat> I look to Pat, I look to Shanta. Um, uh, there are two options as I, as I know it. Um, one, we take the eye and, and pray and hope that it just reverses what's been done and she'll be okay. Um, which, which is plausible, I think. Um, she'll be fine. Or I could try and make a bargain, but... Mm. She is already transitioned. The only thing that keeps the transition from being finalized is the fact that the eye is keeping it from happening. We take the eye, the transition completes. This is my hunch. I agree with Bellus. Take the eye. No oh, bargains. I'll hold Salamante's hand. Salamanthalia's hand. Okay. Salamanthaliante. That one. <laughs> <laughs> You could just say my sister. <laughs> my sister's hand. <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> I um I stand forward, um and uh kind of reach out, uh not to, not like near the eye, but like towards the eye. Um she'll just say, um I I really hope this works. Um but if it doesn't, we'll take care of them, okay? And then um, she will use the, cat, the gather cantrip for the eye. For a moment. A brief moment. Shanta, you think you can hear the sound of pipes? playing in the distance. And then the eye floats down into the box. And from Camanthalia's form comes a long, slow exhalation of relief. And the light that she was just slowly expands, becoming more and more diffuse until it is countless tiny motes, spark upon spark upon spark, drifting further and further and further apart, becoming fainter and fainter, more spread out, until they are gone from sight. And only the sound of Simon Daliante's weeping breaks the darkness. <clears throat> Jadera will wipe the tear from his eye and console her. <coughs> I'm terribly sorry. She stands, just leans her head into your shoulder and sobs. Um. Have we lost Mark again? Oh, no. That's serious. Oh, no. We're, We've we're lost here. him again. If, 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 Oh no, everyone if, take a moment. If, if in chat uh, for Jadarian's uh, mom. Moment of silence. If, if okay. Jadarian's mom, if Jadarian's sister, mm. is, like, yes. Chanta wants a blanket back, right? Now's not the time to ask for it. But she's feeling, she's feeling anxious and she wants a blanket back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think now is a good time. But now is not the time, so she's just no. awkwardly stood there, like, reaching for it, and it's not there, and she's just like... Yeah. 
Yeah, it was the DM's connection that got held by the eye. That's what... <laughs> <laughs> Does that make me the DM <laughs> since I know? We released it. it. Yeah, you're the DM yes. now. Oh, yes. So All right. you're in a room. So There's Aldrich's a mother... guarding a pie. Yeah. So, so, um... Is there a well? Do we go no. down it? No. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go see Dungy. Yes. Cool. So Ooh, she, uh... Come back. She stops. Uh, she stops crying on Jadarian's shoulder. Um, her eyes roll to the back of her head, um, and she pulls out uh, eight katanas. Um, she has eight arms, by the way. It wasn't Ooh. clear earlier. Um, and she 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 attacks um, each one of you. Um, she uh, uh, she stop hits. Stop this immediately! Oh, thank God for that. The DM's back. So Wait, then, chat is no longer the DM. The <laughs> and then, so so and yes. Then... So, so Simon Daliante pulls the dagger out of your gut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were listening. How much, you, how much have you missed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's it was left a... how, how close that is to what Panda was saying. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. There were eight I, katanas in eight her katanas, but okay. She had eight arms, eight, eight katanas. Close enough, close enough. Eight katanas is a single dagger. Yeah. Okay. It's all sharp things. Cool. I make sure I go and collect my mother's belongings and put the necklace over my head. Okay. Uh, did uh, did she leave the blanket like on the ground where she was sat, or is it still? Yeah, you you can you'll need to retrieve your blanket. She's just throw it away. I mean, that's just that's just disrespectful. But okay. uh, Chancellor Chance will uh, kind of really quickly scurry and pick up a blanket and then kind of wrap herself and squee in it. Um, like just gripping onto it, um, just a little bit scared. Yeah. Hey, you're okay. more pad, John. Poor thing. Aldrich uh, will go up to Jay Darian and uh, place a hand on his shoulder. My condolences. She tried to do the right thing. Her path is obviously the same path that I'm meant to be on. Perhaps we can finish what she started. Yes. And my condolences to you as well, Summon Daliante. God, he said it right. Thank you. I think I think there was no other way. I agree. Keeping her hair would have been against her wishes. I want to destroy these things. Mm -hmm. For everything they've done. Well, you, you're with the right group of people. Yes. We do have to give it some thought on how these things are connected to the dragon. And um, if, if, if he wanted your flesh and, and for you to die, uh, did you know that when, when you read to him? He, no, we, we talk often. He says I am his student, and then he will teach me. He has been teaching me magics. He he taught me how to master the causeway. The brought is here. He has ulterior motives. That much that is clear. Will take us home again. Or he wants all the eyes to be destroyed too. He wants that, sure. Because, but I think his his ultimate goal is his 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 freedom and his return to life, so that he can wreak vengeance upon the world well, he's kind of right, but he doesn't want to wreak vengeance anymore but he wants to be alive still i'm not sure no, i believe him says. yeah but what does he want to be alive for is our question he's also made the vow you know he's vowed that he will leave the elves and stuff alone yeah but i heard from this conversation that 
he also has a bone to pick with the humans. And if they have been keeping him captive in the crown or through the crown, I do understand why. Have I frozen? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have. But you look good, so it's okay. Um, I mean, <laughs> well, we, I'm sure we could ask him that. Sure. There are a couple of questions we, we need to ask. Yeah. Well, at the moment, we. You know, we, 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 we are still in an active deal, you know. Well, setting him free apparently was at the price of Samandaliante's life. Well, and that was the price that was not uh, a price that Jadarians and Simon. Uh, <clears throat> it was also uh, out of the dragon's control. From what I can tell, um, in in the timeline of events, it the dragon first wanted, uh, as far as we know to be um, given life and to seek vengeance. When we first saw him, he wanted death. He'd given up on vengeance and he didn't want to live anymore. Now he wants to live and live peacefully. I, I, I see growth there. I, I, I do think he's telling the truth, otherwise first he wouldn't have asked for death. I admire your uh, positivity in which you approach uh, others. It's a beautiful uh, a beautiful quality of you it's optimistic I have been soured a bit because I have been uh, many 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 times uh, disappointed in this um, what I heard in the conversation is that or what I kind of heard in the conversation I'm not sure of course we need to figure this out but actually to set him free from that circle he needed a life we promised to set him free. Will we have to pay a life too? Is the question I'm asking. Maybe he'll take the life of um, the de uh, the demon. Yeah. Well, the yeah, Van Darkwen told you that just by breaking the circle, he would come out. Right. But what Camanthalia said was that he wanted to be fleshed. And out. Right. In other words, that he would presumably take Summon Daliente's body. Uh, yeah. But that option was taken away from him. Mark Cameron enough. So now he's struck up a friendship with Chanta so that he can take her body. Hmm? Well, I don't, I don't think that's right. No, uh, no, why not? If, if, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if the time did come and I, I was wrong and he, he, he was lying, then. Then what? If he's gonna take anyone's, it should be mine. He should take no one's. Yeah, that would be a terrible wait, outcome wait. for all of us. If the time comes, the Anyone's time must what? not come. And we can avoid this time from coming by having a proper and thorough discussion about it now and not doing it. Yeah. Hmm? Take, take anyone's what? Sorry, I was away with the life. Daily. Body. Oh, I got it right. Okay. Oh, Avel, stick with the program. Sorry, I'm having a moment. I'm sure, and I have faith that he's changed. What I'm trying to say is that I'm so certain that I would put my life on it. Well, that's maybe a discussion well, for later. The fact that you put your life on it is okay. It's then something which then inevitably will be an opportunity pounced upon of the dragon if he indeed. the dragon can't turn around and say we've broken the bargain and say we're not going to sacrifice a life when he's not mentioned that so it would be him breaking the bargain as well look uh, once we uh, break that circle I don't know whether we still uh, he still needs our permission to take that life he also might think that Shanta is willingly going to give it to, to, to him um, 
when he said that he was not going to hurt anyone, he only specified humans and elves, right? Elves. I don't think he specified humans. Did he? He he said that he that he would the elves would live in peace, and that he pledged himself, Fang and Breath and Talon, to the banners of Valandor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Whatever that means. So, but not uh, magic. Magic I'm going to use against you. <laughs> then I'll have to become a... Uh, I gotcha. Apparently <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pan- uh, I'll have to become a... a, a, a I'll just have to become a Valandor. All it needs to do is... Do you, yeah, I wonder who could do that to the Eldritch. <laughs> you know, he needs to unite the humans and the tieflings. Yes, yeah. yes, because uh, I haven't done anything to I that extent wonder, at all. I wonder who could possibly among us do it, that. It can only be done by marriage. Today. Mmm. <laughs> anyway. Wow, what a weird thought. Anyway. Um. Yeah, I take it. Um. Obviously, I, I pick up. <laughs> I love how you're, you're sitting there drinking tea like that. No. But that's that's none of my business. That's just, that's just not gonna have to happen. I mean, the eyes are folded. I'm sorry. Okay. Shall I then summon the causeway once more? Let's go back to uh, our moonlight friends. I have some. Uh, we would want to pass that thing again outside. I'd, I'd rather avoid it if I if we can at all. Um, yeah, I agree. agree with that. Well, maybe Seeing we can sneak around it, but I think we were meant to go back to the Tieflings, uh, the Moonwhites anyway. I have the sneaking suspicion that it doesn't really matter how far away from the city you are, that the thing is just here. Did we know what that thing was? Something tells me it was the ghost of the of the elder race thing that was supposedly hunting haunting the city but uh i guess he took a trip well i, th- I think he came, he came to look at uh, the elves coming back here right well i mean i i could use my my lightning and then you can hit it and then we'll be yeah we could do the same thing again but there's also the chance that one of us might die horribly um which i'd rather yes. avoid Especially if we ever see it yes I think we got very lucky. I don't know. Very if we great. kill it twice, we get twice the experience. Ooh. What? Ooh. Resurrection <laughs> on a second. What if, kill it what if again? we didn't kill it at all? <clears throat> True. Um, okay, well, maybe me and Hagen go ahead and we can scout and, and see where it is and try and find a path around it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds good. Yes. Well, if you guys can make it through, I can make everybody else invisible to undead for a while. I was going to say, you had that thing where you almost hit us from the wyverns earlier. Maybe we could do that again. I'm not sure whether that's going to work, but invisibility and that is a, a spell that I, uh, I know how to cast. And you know it's an undead? Yes. Okay. Well, it is an undead creature, so I'm, I'm, I'm presuming... What, what are the, so the two options are hide, hide using your spell or use this road of, of, of I, I don't have rainbows. enough of it I don't have enough of it to be able to, to protect everybody. So well then that's... let's use the rainbow road thing. Did we need to go back to the moonwights? There might be some help there. To do what? I'm trying to remember if there was a reason why we had to go back. We could Unless you have a personal reason to go back, which is fine. I don't. It would be nice for me to go back, yes. It's a long shot, and it's quite risky. But we could run past him, and I um, make a bunch of mirror images of myself, and hope it confuses him. Just just before we undertake such an ad- adventure, um, is the benefit of going to see the Moonwhites for you, Bellis, does that outweigh the risk of running into this creature again? Honestly. Uh, 
considering what we have to do, yes. Okay, well, if that's what you feel, then we will do it. And I'm looking uh, forward at what uh, we uh, we have to face. I'm with just saying dragon. it better be worth it, because I don't want to have to do this if it's not worth it. If Bellis thinks it's worth it, then... I yeah, know. no, I trust you. I just want to make sure that we look at it in those terms. Uh, how, okay. How, how, many, how many people can you make invisible, Bellis? Um, let me quickly check. <laughs> so, I mean, Hagen can just, like... Be unseen in daylight somehow. Like it was, it was, <laughs> it was not daylight. It was specified that it was very dark. And no, you know, you, know, you know, I'm, you know what I mean. You know what I mean? You're a sneaky boy. It's true. Sneaky boy. I can do three. Sneaky boy. Three. Okay. Half of you. Okay. Yeah. No, less than half because you've got um. Some of the Leonte. Little 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 with you. She had like twelve little million. Little 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 dead, so it's Does fun. what about this? What about Summon the Leonte? Does she have any magics of her own that could help in this endeavor? That can render me invisible to the undead. No. I could make him not be able to see any of us. How about this bridge? This moon? This rainbow road? Could you make one that goes to the Moon Whites? It has a minimum range. It is for long distance travel. Right. Not for short jaunts. Why don't me and Hagen go and check out? Just have a look, see if yeah. we can see it. If it's yeah. not there, then we don't need to worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Famous uh, last words. <laughs> uh, I can't see it, it, so it's not there. <laughs> and it is, God help us. Sounds is gonna um, go. Okay, um, and she'll, uh, she'll get Squee, and, uh, she'll just, like, whisper to him, like, it's okay, just, just help them out, okay? Just let them know what you see, and, um, she'll give Hagen Squee, um, oh, if you, you he, gotta can, squeeze it. he can see really well, and, um, he, he would be a good help, um, I'm gonna have him, um, not squee if, if but only squee if something's no that would just draw attention when if you ask him if he sees anything if he doesn't then he'll squee if he does then he'll be quiet i see i uh, i'll keep him safe thank you shanta this just, is um, i don't see any problems with this plan at all <laughs> <laughs> she like reaches into her pocket and she just gets like uh like bits. um is this really wise I, I i understand you're trying to help but the last thing we need is for for, for your pet frog to to draw attention to your spirit man it'd be quiet um I okay okay well in that case how about this squee um if you if you see anything you you kick them really hard in, in, in their hands. Aldrich walk, walks up to a wall and just... Boom. <laughs> okay. The frog manages to frown somehow. Chanta, I don't think that's a good idea. As if it's thinking really, really hard. Because um, I think it's better that you keep the frog with you because when it's with you, it, it's protected by you and uh, by your essence. Uh, this is the relation between you and the frog. If he's with Hagen, remember what the words of that uh, and that creature uh, did to to us. If it's not with you and, and within your protection, I'm I'm afraid it might actually get the full brunt of the damage of those words. Oh. <clears throat> Killing yeah, it. Yeah. Yes, Kill yes. Bellas has has an excellent point. That's a really good point, Bellas. Thank okay. you. Yes. Thank, yeah. thank you. I guess I guess you're right. I am stronger than Hagen, yes. and she'll take yeah. it back and she'll <laughs> on her shoulder. <sighs> Yes, of course, Shanta, you're much stronger than I am. Yeah, you should try a kimono. They're, they're, quite, they're quite hard to pierce. <laughs> I'll think on that. Thank you. Then, shall we be off, you, Darian? Yes, please. Please, please <laughs> just just go. Uh, I'm <laughs> on my bright pink neon blanket. <laughs> shall, I, shall I follow you guys at a distance? That if uh, 
something happens, I can come running. Sure. Hmm? I, and the rest of us will stay here. And, yeah, um, I'll, I'll yeah. stay with uh, Supercalifragilistic. Okay. And you guys can go off places. <laughs> Supercal. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Deliante. Okay. That's what I said. Jadarian, Hagen, you creep out <clears throat> of the uh, tier of Corallon to see the mist-shrouded landscape ahead of you. No sign of the strange undead form in between you and the city at all. Because it appears to be hovering in the air about 15 feet above the exit and just drops down like a white smoke thunderbolt straight down towards you. Uh, Jadarian, the long smoky poem strikes you for uh, six damage. Well, it was nice knowing you two. Oh, God. Uh, uh, Hagen, there is a blast of furious white spell energy hurtles toward you. Have a saving throw against spells for me, please. Oh, dear. What could possibly go wrong? Um, let's see. I rolled a 12. Okay. Hey, Shanta. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you're glad you didn't give him your toad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four damage to you, Hagen, as you roll under the uh, under the blast. Oh, Jake, that's really funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh, can like I can have initiative from you two, please? Oh dear. What about Bellis? If Bellis is close. <laughs> Bellis can roll initiative too if she wants. <clears throat> Maximum nine. Four. Nine for Jadarian, four for Bellis, Seven. and Hagen, Seven. Seven. Okay, Jadarian. Is that the sounds of battle? <laughs> yeah, I call out to the others. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Move, I move Must 30, have been the wind. 30 foot back the way we come. <laughs> back into the into the tier. Yeah, yeah. shoot my one through. magical arrow. Anyways, do you guys want to hear this sonnet that I'm working on? Oh yeah, um, let me quickly shut the door. I think the wind's getting in. Let me just yeah. barricade. It's getting bit a bit nippy. <laughs> if I said no, would you stop? <laughs> I'm across 26. Just you hit. Just hit. Okay. Uh, God, you know it's going to be another one on a dice. Four on a dice. Plus six. That's ten damage. Okay, the uh, magic arrow strikes it. <laughs> you can see it burning through... It's a shimmering umbral form. I'll use my other one as a perfect parry if I can. Okay, well, you can't parry a blast of energy which it <laughs> directs towards you. Saving against spells, please. Oh dear. Uh, nine on a dice. Plus three, twelve. Is that a pass for you? Yeah, twelve on a dot. Okay, so you take five damage, only oh. half damage there. Oh, great. Put two and thirteen. And then it presses its attack physically against uh, against Hagen. Hits armor class 25. Hagen, you take eight points of damage from a solid crushing oh, blow. Oh, dear. So you're on 14 hit points. The thing looms over you. It says, and uh, oh, that's another two damage for that. And 12. Okay, and uh, Hagen, you're next. Bellis, you're at the end of the round. Oh, uh, boy. Let, yeah. let, let us know when we can do anything. Yeah. It would probably be unwise to try and get away from this thing, wouldn't it? Unwise? <laughs> I, I think we I have a dissonance, a dissonance of definitions here. I mean, uh, it would... Okay, yeah, I'm going to try and get away from this thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Run away! You, you can do a retreat and not. Uh, and I am. And go, not. I am going to hold my. Uh, I'm going to be gripping my buckler. So. Yep. Um, yep. I'm going to try and get get the hell out of there. Going okay, back Down into the tier. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right. You do a steady retreat. Dagger in one hand, buckler up in front of you in the other. Bellis, anything from you? You see them just. Yeah. Retreating back. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and I. The, uh, the uh, Calvary, the uh, yes. spectral, <laughs> spectral uh, <laughs> ghost form. Uh, let's uh, put his picture back up. Um, 
is pursuing the moving gradually is into he also, the tier itself. Also, also going into the tier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, in that case, oh, I, I will. I will see Jadarian and uh, Hagen uh, move backwards towards me, and uh, then, of course, at the right time, I will call forth the, the power of the, the Ghost Mother and give it a blast. Okay. For them to be healed and for the creature to be damaged. Go on then. <laughs> Roll Five <high>. damage. <laughs> Six, Slip's such a good seven, spell, though. <laughs> it really is. It's like, it's like a double whammy. I love it. 18. 18. Okay, yes. that's. So you're on 30, Hagen. <clears throat> back up to full one, for me. One nice. point off. And then I fall back with uh, the guys in front yeah. of the. Prefer, preferably not, not yeah, okay. behind, the, close to the. And the pulse there. of positive energy washes around the uh, undead creature. This time, however. It seems to have bolstered itself against alien magics, and it just literally parts like water around a rock and flows on continually behind it, doing nothing. Shit. <laughs> yeah, magic resistance roll. Oh, dear. Uh, okay, um, the rest of you can also roll initiative now, please. Okay. Because your friends are now backing into the tier. You can hear them Ooh. shouting and hear the strange echoing voice of uh, the undead form of the Elder Race. Aldric. Okay, I... Uh... <laughs> I an eight, an eight, an eight. Eight, eight as well. Okay, Chanta. Three. And Avel. Uh, six. Six. Okay, and Jadarian. Um, I'm going to full sprint back into the room to where okay. the other guys are. I'm going uh, to knock an arrow, but I'm just going to say I can't hit this thing. Okay, uh, then on the eight, Aldric and the, uh, the Elder Creature. Um, okay. It's com it's sweeping into the chamber. This is the same time as you're attacking, by the way, Aldric. Um, okay. Gestures towards Bellis. Bellis is a blast of energy comes streaking towards you. Save against spells, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, five, shit. Okay, you take eight damage. Uh, and then it crosses the distance between you and it in a single sweeping motion. It knows where its true enemy lies and hits on Oh, it's another natural, it's a natural 20. It does 12 damage. Bellis goes down. Oh dear. Uh, I'm not feeling very good about it, this. The thing stands over Bellis's body and you can almost see a smile on its undead features. Gal Eternus. It says. Uh, is, uh, do I get to do anything? <laughs> yeah, and Aldrich, at the same time as that happens, what do you do? Okay, oh, I, I run past Athel and take the sword out of, <laughs> out of his like, scabbard. I'm already, I'm already like, throwing oh, yeah. it towards you. Uh, uh, brandishing my shield forward and uh, just attack the, the, the bastard. Try and, okay. try and... Um, a natural 20. Whoa. Okay, you take three damage from getting too close to the... Um... Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the KT Mega Pops. So that puts me on... I was on... I wasn't up to full what, yet, was you're I? You're on 41, uh, so you're 41, on... 41, yeah, I'm, I'm on... 38. 38, okay. And I stand over Bellis. Uh, well, I mean, I hit him, right? So uh, uh, max damage, so eight plus uh, plus four is uh, twelve. Okay. With with, with uh, the silver fire. A great slash of energy across the thing's midriff, and white fire sprays out, washing across your face. And I say, "Stay back, like... foul creature!" <laughs> <laughs> the thing kind of looks you up and down, and this time the word that comes out is not damaging. But it's almost a mocking term. Human. <laughs> uh, Hagen. Well, okay then. <laughs> hey, Apparently, I make him laugh. <laughs> Seeing his lord uh, rushing into danger, turns and runs toward the creature, um, uh, backhanding the the dagger as he um, leaps at it. The thrust. Okay. Um, Proximity brings pain down to 28 hit points. Roll to hit. <laughs> Not 20. Oh! Uh, 
Two in a row, nice. Woohoo! Max damage, so how much is that? That should be 11. All right. Okay. Uh, the creature actually takes a step back from the impact of your twin blows. Okay, Avil. Okay, um, can I take my sword from Aldric and also I, 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 I give it. stab him? <laughs> it's like, done! Okay, here you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Avil, you charge forward, feel your skin blister and blacken at your proximity to the thing. Three damage to you, puts you on 16, but you can make an attack. Okay, come on, another nat 20. We're going to have it. 17, close. Woohoo! Is that good uh, enough? Uh, 17. What's your normal to hits, please? Ask for your character hit. sheet. Um, it's plus one to hit. Wait, that, that, that can't be it. That can't be right. Look I'm <laughs> under, under the sword on page two. Oh, page two. Oh no, plus four. Missed. <laughs> so that's 21. Even with, Sil even with Silverfire, that's a miss. Fuck. The thing's pivots on its axis and the blade <laughs> cuts nothing but empty air. Darn it. Darn it. Okay. Shanta. Um, I will... Yeah, is there a way that I can shoot it without it, anyone being in the way or can I maneuver myself to be... Yeah, if you... Yes, absolutely you can. Alright, uh, so keeping them at mo the most different distance I can for the, for the, for the thing to work... Um, <clears throat> she's gonna she's gonna run forward, and she's just gonna pull out and extend her arm, and kind of like flinch, waiting for it. Um, okay. Shoot him. Fails his magic resistance and rolls a two on his saving throw, so it's the full sixty-six damage. Oh, nice. Oh. <clears throat> Roll high. Don't, don't forget they bounce. They bounce. They bounce. Okay. Um. Oh. Six, five, um. eleven. 11, 12, um... S Quick maths. Uh, 16, and then I've still got two more to roll. Uh, 16, 19, 21 damage. Woohoo! Woo! Nice! And she looks, she when she casts it, it kind of blows her back and her hair kind of goes in the wind. Okay, cool. And she, uh, <laughs> she looks really making powerful. Making sure that Aldric is watching. She's like... like He's oh, a little okay. distracted right now. Oh, <laughs> look! Notice me! The lightning bolt hits the, uh, the, the elder race creature. It transfixes it in the blast of energy, carries on past it, hits the wall. The energy it's where it strikes the interior wall of the uh, Tier of Corridon. There's a crack, goes <laughs> up the wall, and you see a huge chunk of ceiling come loose, seemingly in slow motion. Wham! To hit the floor. Uh. The crack continues up above your head. And beneath your feet, you can hear a deep juddering as your blast strikes what must be a uh, somewhat vital point. Behind you, you hear the sound of Samandaliente drop to her knees, murmuring words, moving her hands back and forward. Rainbow light is appearing in her hands, and she starts to blow gently into it. Jadarian. I go and whisk up. Bellis and head back to uh, my sister. Okay. Carl, can you loan me a D10, please, for Bellis? Bellis bleeds. Uh, can I do anything? If you want to if you want to take an action to uh, to stabilize him, you can yeah, stabilize. Yeah, to stabilize him. her, yeah. Okay. So she stabilizes at minus 2. Uh, okay. Um that was nine. Then on eight, Aldric and the uh, the Caltheran. Okay, me first or him? It's at the same time, but having okay. failed Bellis, uh, and who's the one with the sword at the moment? Avil, right? Yeah. Avil, yeah. You want it's it? Going, it's going for Avil. Okay. Oh crap! Come on. Hey man. Hey, man. Avil, it's armor class hey, eighteen. Me. Avil. Yeah. You take 10 points of damage from a thrust from its great shadowy polearm. You're on six hit points. You won't. Oh, yeah. And then it follows it up almost point blank with a blast of hellish white energy. Seven against spells, please. 
Um, fifteen. Did you not tidy your room? What did today? you say? Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can see it behind. It looks, it looks all right. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's a save. So you only take three damage. That puts you on three hit points. Only fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Bring Bella's back. Damn. Uh, Aldric. Okay. Um, I take the sword from Avil as she it, as yeah. she topples backwards. Like, uh, <laughs> um, and I then, quick question: Can I use use my uh, uh, my um, two handed attacking ability to use the shield and shield bash as yeah, well as attacking with the sword, or is that a separate thing? I think it's specialization, a, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You can you can attack with the shield as a shield bash, but you won't. You'll still have the, the full penalties. What are the penalties? Just out of curiosity. Just minus, two, as minus, four. minus two, minus four. Ah. Uh, all right. Well, in that case, I'm just going to attack it with the, with the sword then. Okay. <laughs> um. And that's a modified. Uh, Quick a modified, modified 22, which is not enough, is okay, it? Okay, you miss. Yeah, grabbing the sword, stabbing with it, you miss time the blow, it goes wide. Hagen. Uh, so I should say, um, last time I made a slight error, uh, my damage was nine, so give it two health back. Um, no, wait, hold on a second, no. <laughs> <laughs> and Aldrich, you take four hit points from being close to it, you're on 34. I ignore but what I he am... just said, he just, I, I saw something hit him on the head, he just... Hagen, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Stick I, I am going to, uh, I'm gonna go for it again, I guess, just stab it with the dagger. Okay, another three damage from being too close to it to you, puts you down to 25. Oof. And that's only uh, 17. Bleeding profusely from your nose now. Taste your own blood on your lips and your blade goes wide. Another chunk of ceiling slams down beside you. You can feel the floor juddering beneath your feet. Avil, barely conscious, um, but still alive. Okay, I'm gonna move over to where Caesar Salad is doing her rainbow magic. That's really racist, actually. Bro. Her name is Pasta Alba. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm gonna do my inspiration for the day. I think we need it at this point. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm on three hit points, uh, and I'm feeling a bit close to death, so this one's that themed. <clears throat> Will we live to see Valandor? I don't know the answer anymore. Will my body be on the floor? And will we lose this stupid war? <laughs> I can fuck <laughs> I, I, I feel, That's supposed I to feel, inspire us. I feel de inspired. <laughs> yes. Um, Hagen, Hagen closes his eyes and just says, Gods, please don't let that be the last thing I hear. <laughs> <laughs> no, just right before you go. I think, I, yeah, actually, in that sense, it's like, it's like, um, Reverse uh, psychology. Yeah, yes. it's, it's like, like quite, oh, it's God. quite clever, actually. Yeah, it's, really <laughs> it's inspiring in that it's depressing, but that you're determined not to make that the reality. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Um, Shanta. Um, looking at the destruction I caused, but kind of realizing that there's not really much else I can do. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, this Just time shouting, happen, this time shouting, lightning bolt, looking over at Aldrich, <laughs> like, <"Look> at me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's almost... It gets almost. through its magic resistance again, and... Oh, wow. A two and then a four, another failed saving throw, full 66. Go for it. Go! Oh. Notice me, senpai! <laughs> Alright, um, so that is a... Senpai. Thirteen, fifteen. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Standing there in the middle of battle, like <laughs> yeah, the, light, the lightning, lightning literally <laughs> cracks to say, "Notice me, senpai," and it <laughs> does twenty-two like, damage. Like sparkler writing, twenty-two. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh wow. Okay, the thing is immediately <laughs> discorporated by the blast of the lightning bolt. Oh, wow. Yeah, by two hit points. <laughs> it's the energy spin in all directions. The uh, electricity flying up the walls, the uh, mist spreading out along the floor. The lightning bolt continues, but there's a huge chunk in the far wall, and the resulting cacophonous collapse of the interior of the tier of coral and causes the floor to start to split open. Okay, uh, I start pushing people away from there. <laughs> okay, Aldrich, you're on the wrong side of it. Uh, at the same time, Samandaliente stands, 
the causeway. You look over your shoulder, you see that she spent the last two rounds building it, and now it is indeed rushing off. It appears to go through the wall where it enters the spirit world. You can see it heading toward the east for yards, for even miles, passing from this realm into the next, defying your perception to be able to make sense of it. Okay, very, very quickly when it's my turn, or what, if, 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 even if okay, there's such a thing. Uh, on a nine Jadarian. I tell uh, my sister, I said, take the moonlight. And I go and try and help Aldrich across, ready for, you know, waiting for his hand if he misses. Okay. Um, Simon Dalliante grabs hold of Bellis in her arms, steps onto the causeway, and is pulled down its length. Okay. Uh, eight. Aldrich. Okay, I'm going to take a, a few steps back, make yep. sure that there's not, no big chunks of rock falling on me, and I'm going to run and use my Ransor as a pole vault. Okay, uh, you can make me a strength check. Okay. Uh, what do I add, or exactly how does I just have to roll below my strength? Yeah. I rolled a five. Okay, vault yourself clear over and the, across the chasm and skitter it to your feet on the far side uh, with Judarian catching you to prevent you from falling. And then I guess you're rushing for the causeway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure everybody's in. Uh, I, I want to be the last one out. Okay, Avil and Hagen next. Yeah, well, um, I'm next to Solitape, so I'm just going to go across the course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are likewise plucked down it at rapid speed. Hagen, you too? Yeah, I'm Hagen too. Okay. The Rainbow Road takes you and <laughs> pulls you down its length. Okay, and I, then I, finally I, that leaves uh, Shanta and... Aldrich alone as the tear collapses around you. I grab I grab her and throw myself down the causeway with her. Oh uh, okay. God, so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks so cool. Swept <laughs> away. I, I stand there like damn, they forgot me. Did we, oh, we forget you? <laughs> yeah, that's what I <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll die over here, yeah. so, you know. The right. I, the I, want, I want Avil to write a song, like, these are a few of my favourite things, but it's just all the names they've given for Sam, <laughs> Sam and Caliente. Uh, keep them coming. Sam and Caliente. Don't worry, I've got more. Sam nice one. Dali, Sam and eh? Caliente. Yeah. yeah. This kind of salmon. Spicy salmon. Oh, <laughs> yes. Salmon. I was going to say that one. <laughs> Behind you, the tear of Coralyn finally dies, blown apart from within by Shanta Flair. <laughs> For thousands of years it stood. <laughs> but no. <laughs> hey, if it wasn't for her, we'd all be dead right now. Destruction wherever she goes. Kills people's no, mothers. We don't care. Blows ancient <laughs> artifacts up. <sighs> you face an undead horror of one of the elder races and lived, weakened though it was by its state. Nevertheless, you bested it. Camanthalia has achieved Kahi. And you uh. have another of the eyes of Kalax in your hands. When the Rainbow Road finishes depositing you, you see the familiar features of Namasilie waiting you under the eaves of the dead forest. Noticeable by their absence is any sign of battle. Ah. Okay. So, so there's not been a battle. There doesn't appear to have been one, no. Oh, you, you guys must have won. Oh, uh, yeah. Our scouts report that they turned back. That's a good thing, no? It is. When did they turn back? Oh. 
Are you? Is is Bella's conscious or is she still out? She's un 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 uh, unconscious. Well, when uh, did they uh. turn back? Bella's uh, <laughs> uh, chanter gives you heal wounds. You get five HP back. Okay, it puts you on three hit points, Bellis. Nice. Um... I wake you up and then. Shortly after your departure, Namasilia says. We're back in. Uh... In Galhanoi, no, not in Galhanoi, in uh, the Ghost Dead Forest. Elves, Dead Forest. Yeah, yeah, here. We didn't, we didn't have any choice. How would they know? We're not being tracked. Ah, uh, we destroyed the eyes. There was no reason for them to come here anymore. This is true. No, Marcelia says. Saltara Morda has one, doesn't she? Yeah, so she will know. I must have told her. The thing is, is the more information that she gets from it, even though that that is bad for us, in, in a way it's kind of good because she'll have to keep making bargains and eventually well, we do face her. She, there probably won't be any fingers left and we can also always try and draw her back in because now we have another eye for her to come and get. Uh, the last one we need is to entice a war here for the elves. Yeah. And we, we would prefer not. not. Mm. <clears throat> I understood that you that you have made an alliance with the tieflings. That's uh that's true, yes. If I were in your position, I would take advantage of that. I I fully intend to. I don't suppose I could entice you. To strike against House Morath? To ally ourselves with Valandor? By whose hand this forest died? It's not the same house. No. And also I survived. If we hadn't have told you, you would have been overrun. Well, this is no time for, for well, I think not. I think this fight was never going to happen. But you're quite right. That's thanks to you. And your ability to deal with that worm and have the eyes destroyed. I can think of worse people to bloody my blade next to. If it is up to me, Lord Valandor, then we will stand at your side. I would appreciate any help you can offer. Mm. The Empire is changing. Dying, perhaps. Becoming something more. else, perhaps. Something better. Too long has it been ruled by these eyes. It would seem so. If you wish to consult with Van Der Quen, I understand. I will have to speak with him. And doubtless you have deliberations of your own to make. Come and find me when you are ready. If we I may believe... impose upon your hospitality for the night, that will be much appreciated. And she looks over at Sam and Aliente. I believe if we need to, we have a manner, a means at our disposal to reach Valandor unseen. Quite. Although I do, I also would need to consult with uh, the tieflings before uh, any strike was made. So it would be. 
and she nods and strides off in the direction of uh, Van Dark Wynn's tree hut. Guys, come closer, please. And Bellis uh, grabs hold of her uh, holy symbol. She holds up the tear, and one last time this day, she pulls forth the, the power of the Ghost Mother and gives you all 16 hit points. 16. Yay. Woohoo! I'm on 19 then. Yeah, I'm on okay. 40 now. To 19. Aldric, full. <coughs> that I'm is full. Full. Hagen, full. Abel, 19. How much is Abel uh, away from uh, I'm on four. 20. I give her a cure serious. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, that okay. is four. Perfect. <laughs> Spot on. Nice. Yeah. Very cash money. <laughs> I got that reference. Okay. Um, you find yourselves then fairly rapidly, safely ensconced in the. Uh, the guest tree hut that you've come to uh, to know and love. And any preparations that you wish to make before the move against Valandor, which we thankfully discussed off stream. Yeah. Um, yes. Please, please, uh, Mostly I'm, I'm curious to hear uh, what... Uh, the dragon. Uh, what um, Van der Quen has to say. About so I'm what be, in specific? Uh, whether or not he agrees with, with his general. He does. Okay. Cool. Well, that's... Sim uh, simply put, the elves yes. <laughs> will lend their forces to yours. Excellent. And he suggests that uh, based on the battle plan that you've come up with, having them work, having a force sent alongside Jadarian, for example, to provide the distraction at the front gate, Excellent. Well, any uh, we need to figure out a way to commu to to contact um, Dalto Cray. Let's um, before we uh, start making any final plans, get rid of this eye. Yes, agreed. Yes. And we can ask him some questions. Yes. What are you playing at? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen here. <laughs> okay. To the dragon, then. He's like, sorry, way down the end of my uh, my images list here. <laughs> I can read him the poem that I did. Oh, look, there's, uh, there's your friend. Um, there he is. Oh, salty bitch. Yeah, we don't just see her just yet. <laughs> Saltine. Saltine. Satsuma. He really just doesn't look very happy, does he? <laughs> Oh, I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody drew my eyes way too low on my head. That <laughs> makes me mad. Always <laughs> look up my nose. It's stuck my... Okay, um, you make your way back into the Wormsgrave dungeon through well-trod pathways and find the route through uh, lost catacombs, echoing halls, and secret doors until once more you are in the presence of Vorum Cathriax, the dead worm of Valandor. And I, I sense another I. Mm hmm We got another one. Um, but, um, um, Tell you what, we'll do we'll do this part first, and then and then the other stuff after, okay? Yes, we had 
are ours. Mm -hmm. Um, here you go, and sure. Okay. <laughs> the dragon's breath crashes out. <laughs> oh, Leia jumped. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Strikes the eye. It is obliterated in seconds. I was the demon's, getting my lipstick. The demon's high pitched voice. And then to nothingness. Um. Only to remain. Your task is nearly complete. Your quest fulfilled. Your place in legend assured. We, um, that, that I just destroyed, um, it was one that, uh, Judaeran's mother had, um, and before she um, was put to rest, she uh, said that back, back, back a while ago, you, you tried to make a deal with her, um, but the deal was for her, her daughter. Um, and I and I know you've changed, but I think it would just be nice to have an explanation. An explanation for what? That, you know, you don't want to take a life anymore um, because that was the previous deal and not our deal. Our deal's different and like, it's pretty changed. She offered it to me. I refused. She, she offered? I don't know. Yes. She was desperate, believing to rid herself of the eye. One child she abandoned, one she <laughs> sold into slavery. The other she wished to barter with me. Um, I refused. So I'm well, that's unexpected. That or, uh... No, I think we left her behind. Okay. Chanta kind of looks over at Jadarian. Kind of like... Uh, um, what? Mark, real quick, when you, when you do the voice, you have to pull away from the mic just a smidge, because it cuts out when you get too close. A Sorry. smidge. Just yes. a smidge. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm getting notes. It's okay. I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> your your message, Abel. I was just saying, we really love what you're doing. Keep it up, hun. He's <laughs> <laughs> Pout, pouty, sulky face. <laughs> No, it's great. Trust me, you know. <laughs> You're a star. It's, it's, it's lovely. Lovely, honey. Uh, keep that up. You'll get to Broadway anytime. <laughs> um, all right, all right. Um, when reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you refuse? I'm. Um, because. It was an odious offer. The desperate yammerings of a desperate woman. Did you not try and strike another deal? What was the deal that you tried to strike? None. She came to me pleading. I refused. She left <laughs> saying she had found another way. Why why would you refuse if if you didn't refuse us? I, I don't understand. I would not take a child's life. 
you could have bargained you something have, else. Surely. You could have destroyed the eye without taking her life. Just destroyed the eye. Surely that was part of your plan anyway. Did you not ask her? We couldn't really. We kind of had to take her word for it. My plan. Why do you think I would plan to destroy the eyes, Lord Valangor? <clears throat> I was under the impression that you wanted the eyes destroyed too. You have asked me this as a service. So we have. This is true. But that doesn't answer his question. Even though we asked it for a question. I saw no way to make a deal with such a woman. One who would sell her children is not to be trusted. No. I have a feeling that I I had already a a grasp on her in in a certain way. Is it true that the eye, particularly the eye and the crown, is what bound the dragons to the empire? I have heard this said. I do not feel such a bomb on me. I will take your word for that. So, four down, two to go. Would you have said that my mother was already controlled by the iron? All who bear the iron Wait, if she was under control of the eye and she was so desperate to have it destroyed, does that mean the eyes want to be destroyed? If that's true, what if destroying the eyes is what releases the demon? Influence, not control. Her mind rebelled. Don't forget she's elven. They have a strong mind. I thought they also had a strong family bond. Perhaps she saw no other way. You saw what the eye did to Saltara, right? Yeah, but I think she was crazy anyways. Mm. She was not crazy. She was damaged goods, but not crazy. Mm, (laughs) She had some daddy issues. (laughs) 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 You know. Okay. Valandor it is. Just before we go, um, I don't know why she would have told you this, but do you know why or where she sold her other son? You said to, to, to slavers, but you think there's any way we could find him? What little she said. me to believe it was in Damarash. Okay. Well, I mean, that's good because we're going there anyways. <clears throat> Thank you so much for answering my question. I have a, a last question for you. Yes. Do you have any memory of when you appeared to serve the Empire with your two brethren? 
My memory is long. Mm -hmm. You remember from whence you came? The tales go that you came flying out of the storm. Do you remember this? Is this true? The Tempest Breach. Yes. That is two questions. Is there a third? <laughs> there is. Because if you remember where you came from, from there, that's from the beginning of time. between dreams a bridge between stories between dreams it spans the night of no stars right so you fled <laughs> yes ah and Moon White is uh, once again wiser. Thank you very much. To come is to know safety. To return is to face oblivion. Yes. The end of history and the night of no stars. One night that span ten thousand years. Whatever passes back is lost to us. We cannot go home. I see that, yeah. Thank you for your patience and your indulgence and your willingness to answer all these questions. We have uh, a house to recapture and eyes to destroy. I long for your success. So do we. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I uh, back out of the chamber. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> just moving slowly. Just Conversation's following my bro. <laughs> <laughs> you leave Vorum Cathriax to his deathless contemplation of your imminent assured victories. Oh. Well, I'm glad that you feel that it's assured. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> uh, that laugh, though. I have to deal with that on a daily basis. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So unless there's any... Uh, Further dealings or discussions you wish to have? Not I. Some rests to respell, but that's yep. it. Yeah. Maybe Jadarian, you can uh, get some new arrows. Got new magical ones, I doubt it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I... <laughs> I've got loads of arrows. I've got like 40 arrows, but just, okay. I've got no magical just... ones left. Ho hopefully, hopefully the, the Mordath troops will be susceptible to those. <laughs> yeah. Just go find the magic flusher. Yes. Mm. We should probably inform your sister of what happened. 
Oh yes, let's go yes. see Flex Seal. <clears throat> Flex Seal. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oops, no, no Carthurians. Um, no Namasiliers, where is she? There's Samadamante, there we go. Samadamadildo. All right, that's oh enough. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Samadamadingdong. Um. Another eye destroyed, Samadamante says. Yes. The dragon is a good friend to us. Mm. I wouldn't go that far. How much I can trust him, I don't know. Especially Look, after what he said about our mother. He destroyed four eyes. Mm. Um, do you want to tell her what he said? What did he say? That our mother sold our brother into slavery and offered you a sacrifice. No. She would she would never. Why would he say these things? He's a dragon, he can say what he wishes. Does it mean I believe him? No. Of course not. He refused to kill you. I don't believe it. He said that your mother was desperate. Under the influence of the eye. And desperate to get rid of it. Which I can understand. I still don't believe he's telling the full truth, though. Oh. I don't know. It is a plausible story. I don't know what to think. Those eyes are poison. I am. Um, I do think we should maybe look into finding your brother. He, he would be able to kind of confirm this story or deny it if we are able to find him. If he was abandoned, it would have been as a child many years ago. I, I, I mean, it's a bit ironic coming from me because I don't really remember my childhood. But I think you think, <laughs> Matt, I think you remember being sold as a slave by your mum. The dragon mentioned that uh, if it happened, uh, he, he was led to believe that it was in Damarash. We'll soon be able to confirm that story or not. So let us hold off judgment until then. Sure. How, I mean, how old are you, Simon Deliante? I, I don't know. You knew of our brother? Maybe I... I remember playing with a boy on a boat. I was very small. I don't remember Damaresh at all. If we were ever there. Well, I've been looking for Mother for half a century. So I know for that much, you're not that old. Hmm. 30 years of life, perhaps? Hmm. More, I, I, I dare not guess. The boy you remember, was he of the same age? Or younger? I don't remember. I'm sorry, Jadiri, I don't remember. It's fine. Maybe we need to get some rest. We need to get word to the tieflings as well. You're not just gonna nudge Bellis. <laughs> I'm kind of whispering. <laughs> you could try that thought thingy where you 
take their thoughts and stuff. I could, but then I would need to respell it before I have to do that. Do you think it'd be worth doing that to the dragon? I don't think it will work on the dragon. Oh. Is he too powerful? That? He's a dragon? He's undead? I think the results that would come out of the spell are, are seriously un, unreliable in, the, in that particular... Uh, uh, this is not uh, infallible magic which, uh, which I'm casting here. It is a, a trick which sometimes pans out successfully and sometimes it gives a, a vague result. Stay there and we'll go and sit in a corner on a bed or whatever, relax. And toy with his mother's necklace in his hand, just looking okay. over it. Okay. Rest then comes to you. And preparation and planning. The camera drifts up and over the dead forest. Over the dunes. You see the sun rise and fall. The wind blows sand across the desert. A lizard scuttling, leaving tracks on the dune slopes. The stars wheel in the heavens overhead. Overlaid across this, a shifting montage of scenes. Aldric standing over a table with a map of Fort Ballandor, moving little wooden figures around, discussing with Hagen. Hagen and Kalfara in a shady tavern, seated in the corner of the room, slipping a coin pouch under the table to a pair of equally disreputable looking tieflings. Alia Keel, marching a band of tiefling warriors down into the dead forest, coming face to face with Aldric. And smiling slowly. Judarian, whittling arrows. Avil practicing with silver fire, tuning the banjolele. Tuning it again. <laughs> Bellis in prayer. Holy books and spell books open in her lap. And Shanta standing at the edge of the dead forest, staring north toward Valandor. And the penultimate eye. In Valandor itself, some days later, we see the banners of House Mordath flying over the fortress, 
wyverns roosting on its walls. One of the storm claws staggering forward to lean against the wall. And just vomit up most of his dinner. He slumps back, wiping his brow. Beside him at the entrance to his tent, you can see his companion. Wiping his head. Looking extremely ill. And they follow the camera up along the wall, along the battlements, and into the gatehouse where secreted, crouched down behind a couple of the barrels at the back, is Hagen Quell. At the changing of the guard, there are only two guards in the gatehouse. Hagen, the time has come. If you can bring them both down and get the gates open, Jadarian's frontal assault can begin. Is it just me? On the opposite side of the room, one of your other tiefling assassins is likewise hidden in the shadows, waiting for your signal to move. I need to do this simultaneously. Hey, and we'll wait for... Uh the guards both to present their backs and at that moment he'll give the signal and move as swiftly as he can I'm trying to move in synchronicity with his partner as you stand he stands as your blade comes out his blade comes out both of them edged with poison and he moves as you move straight toward the guard and thrusts as you thrust at 20 Natural 20. <laughs> Beautiful. Hang and roll. All right. Natural roll. <laughs> Should I roll assassination or assassin backstab? Assassination, yeah. All right. That is 62. 62. That's enough. Your blade sinks deep into his spine and the tiefling to your side grabs the mouth of the guy as he rams his blade into the base of his skull. The bodies fall noiselessly. And as rehearsed, he grabs hold of the right hand winch and you the left and starts to raise the gate. Out on the dunes in front of Ford Valandor, rainbow light washes across the surface of the sand. And Myaladin's causeway spills a hundred elven warriors onto the Kashigari desert. Jadarian strides out at their head, the moonlight catching his silver hair, just so. Now Marsilia is at your side. The gate is open, she says. Stay safe. She draws her blade for Valandor. For mother. And she charges toward the gate. I'm not an arrow and charge with her. Okay. The guards on the wall, they have a handful of seconds of notice. As like shadows, the elves bleed out of the dunes. The camera now is high above the gate, just watching them rush in from a bird's eye view, spilling out into the courtyard beyond where the Mordath tents have been located. Mordath troops sickened from strangely poisoned meat earlier in the day <laughs> struggle <laughs> to get to their feet. And then you and the elves are upon them. Jadarian, 
a pair of warriors leap to their feet and come charging towards you, grabbing their blades and drawing them out. Now Massilio rushes past you. The elves split around you. Their blades are out like almost noiseless death. They fall upon the first set of Mordas troops. Would you like a roll? Yeah. I'll, I'll shoot three arrows. Go for it. <laughs> well, one's a five. Which would be armor class 16. Yep, these guys are 15. Oh, the rest of them all hit then. Okay. So. Five, one's seven damage. Nine damage and nine damage. Okay. Um, moving like a dervish amongst them, you drop one, two, three um, of the two who rush towards you. One of them you fell in when, he's in, when, he, when, when he is within only a few feet of you. The other one staggers towards you, your arrow going right through him, slashes blindly. The blade catches you just above your eye. Your blood runs down the side of your face. So that's six damage, by the way, putting you down to 18 hit points. Ow. Uh, <laughs> then you're pressing forward into the courtyard. The sound of an alarm bell, clang, 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 starts to ring throughout Valandar Fortress. In the catacombs, Aldric, the sound echoes to where you are, as you and Bellis and Avil and Shanta and about 600 tieflings <laughs> have crept in, brought this far by Valto Cray's dimensional folding spell waiting for the signal. Now you have it. Sergeant Daco, one of the few survivors of uh, House Valandor. You can see him grinning in the darkness. Now, my lord. Now. I uh, raise a fist and with my runcer in it and just point forward. It's supposed to be a silent, stealthy attack which Daco completely ruins by shouting, Valandor! And just charging out. <laughs> I like it would be silent anyway, what with Aldric. <laughs> clank, clank, clank. It gives the uh, Mordath troops perhaps an additional two or three seconds notice, which is enough for them to actually turn to see the tiefling hordes spilling up and out of the catacombs and into the courtyard. The massacre begins almost immediately. The tieflings are like wolves among the fold. Blades, blades rising and falling, some letting loose with minor witchery, magic missiles. A web splashes across one entire side of the, uh, of the courtyard. Others firing arrows, unloosing uh, crossbow bolts. At the far side, the elves are already cutting a swathe through the assembled troops. Mordath troops are desperately trying to rally I um, make a command to take out the wyverns. Okay. I'm on the, it. The wyvern riders themselves have been quite thoroughly poisoned. The wyverns aren't getting into the air anytime soon. Okay. Um, but uh, Let's Avil stab them anyway. Okay. <laughs> Let's... You lead a group of... Oh, actually, wait. I can I... <laughs> Hold on a second. Crazy idea, right? Could I ride a wyvern? Sure, why not? <gasps> Can I ride a wyvern? Oh, okay. That's what influence reaction. Die. That's what influence reactions is for. You just play your. This is my wyvern friend song. This is my. Uh, <laughs> this is my uh, I wrote this one a little earlier. Nice, nice little wyvern. Oh, wyvern, I love uh, you. <laughs> this song has got a little stick in the tail. Hey, just like little you. wyvern, <laughs> don't try and eat me. Hey, little wyvern, <laughs> let me sit on your back. Yeah, Valandor, oh, Valandor. Vangelili solo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Avil, you yeah, go Avil. racing up the uh, nearby battlements. At the sound of your strumming and your cautious approach, one of the wyverns turns his head towards you. <laughs> <laughs> And then lowers its head. I mean, <clears throat> good evening. Exposing its neck. <laughs> uh, you to mount up. Tames the wild beast, Avil. Right, <laughs> we're going! Yay! Uh, okay. Um, Aldric, as um, you're I, kind of yeah. giving orders, directing troops. 
I'm on a wyvern! You hear a voice, rally! Mordath, rally! From the balcony that overlooks the courtyard, looking up, you see Saltara. For okay. a moment, her, her eyes lock with yours. And the battle around you, her. the battle around you fades almost into silence. Yeah. This is kind of a, like a, a single young boy soprano solo singing in the background. <laughs> as you stare at her. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, I I, um, I make a, a an order for a bunch of the guys to follow me, and presumably uh, Bellis and Shanta as well. Mm. Okay. Unless they want to go their own way. This is nowhere to be seen. Oh, okay. okay. Shanta, are you going with Aldric? Shanta is gonna... <laughs> she didn't want to come on my wyvern with me? I'm on a wyvern, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, it's tempting. Uh, are we near the stables at all? Yeah, you are. See, no, I'm on! <laughs> You're gonna go check on your horse. <laughs> oh my god, middle of the battle. Just like, <laughs> where's my <laughs> horse? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on Cinnamon. Be like, I come back. Okay. Um, and then ride Jeez. and ride off with my core stuff, just whacking people on the head as I go. Follow okay. Oh you know, wow. Cinnamon is indeed there, and he nuzzles you and kind of blows air into your face. He is all perky, tail swishing. I kind of do the like, I, my arm out for Aldrich because I go past. Like, you want to get on the horse? <laughs> I gotta go get Saltara. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you wanna come on my wife? Like, with me? Like, you just keep running. I'm just there, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, I have a hot date <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a person I need to kill. All uh, right. Okay, let's have an initiative roll for everybody, please, so we can um, buy a little bit of structure. All right. Oh, not bad for the NPCs. Okay, Aldric. Uh, six. Six. Bellis. Modified eight. Ooh, look at you. Okay, uh, Shanta. Uh, two. <laughs> Hagen? I'm too busy crying Four. over Aldric. <laughs> Four. 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 Yes. Jadarian. Seven. And Avil. Five. Five. Uh, okay. Mysteriously hidden. Bellis. <laughs> Phantom armored and invisible Bellis. Yeah. Is going to have a look in the temple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just to make sure that the person she thinks is here should be is, is actually there. Right. Oh shit, Galric! I completely forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably find him at some point. Sorry, um, carry on. Bellis. You sneak toward the temple, slide inside. You've never seen him in person. But as you step in, he's been at the altar, head bowed, in the middle of prayer, and then stands to face you. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Bone Sister Bellis, I presume. He looks straight through my invisibility then. Detect invisibility is only a second level spell. He looks directly at you. Mm -hmm. Your reputation precedes you, little sister. So does yours. Mm. This is where I would actually offer you to bow out of this uh, unholy uh, communion you made. Out of courtesy for the love you have our mother, I offer you the same. I do not consort with demons, but you are consorting with demons. You know that Saltara is under the control of the Eye. You know this. Death comes in many ways, in many shapes, and with many faces. 
It is not for me to judge its appearance, only to watch over it and shepherd it, and to bring it where I see fit. He steps forward. Yield. No, I don't think so. And she, she runs out of the temple again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to have like a standoff, like, you know, like a I mate. No, I was expecting it. What? I know. Right. right, you hear the sound of his feet pursuing you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Judarian. Uh, who can I see that's important? Any sort of like um, officers or. Um, there are officers. You can see Saltara is uh, actually at the moment. As Aldrich's running up the stairs to water, she's busy backing away indoors, drawing her blade. I don't want to sense there it. are there are a number of officers all around, desperately trying to rally their troops. Um, it's completely clear that in the, with the combination of the elves and the tieflings, that this is going to be a massacre. I'm going to send two arrows into her back, if possible, and then chase after Aldrich. Okay. Um, her armor class is 22. At this distance, uh, at medium range, that's going to be 27. I get minus two at medium range. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, you're quite right. Uh, 24. My mistake. 24. So I've got plus 12 on the attacks. Oh, my God. I rolled a 19 and a 20. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Oh, no, hang on. I believe oh, you. I can't see him. <laughs> got see. 19 out of 20. Awesome. Uh, 19's not a crit for me, though. Uh, it's a crit for me. I crit on a 19. Crit. Yeah, two crits. Yep, yeah, yeah. okay. Jesus. Um, obviously, max damage. Um, yes. So it'll be 11. 22 damage. Oh. Ow. Okay, she kind of stumbles with two arrows to go. Where the hell did they come from? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the sort of time you want to row a double crit. Beautiful. <laughs> that uh, was beautiful. Okay. Uh, Aldrich, you're up the stairs behind her. Oh. Yeah, well, just and, uh, uh, Okay, no, it's, your, it's your full move, by the way, to get that far. Okay? Oh, okay. Uh, you see her stumbling into the uh, the Great Hall of Valandor with the arrows sticking out of her back. You recognize the arrows. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, 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 of course. It wouldn't have been a full oh, okay. if you'd have just gotten on the horse. I give a big thumbs up. <laughs> As I'm running in, I do a thumbs up. <laughs> nice uh, okay. one. Avil, the uh, wyvern is ready beneath you. Okay, okay. I've been thinking about this. Right. I know what I want to do with it, right? Because inevitably, I have a variable <laughs> militia now that I have a wyvern. Okay. So, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is, right... Saltara is now in the Great Hall. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. Valen Ding Dong, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Valandor, right? The Great Hall has this nice big window in it. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so what yes, am I gonna? Yes. You know that scene from the first Shrek movie where the dragon comes in and eats Lord <laughs> Farquaad? <laughs> okay. I'm thinking in my brain. I think. I'm going to do that with my wyvern. Okay. Who is um, now called Shrek? And then you remember you have no idea how to write this thing. No, <laughs> no, I'm just Just write it with this. your knees. Just, yeah, the fine. gears are in the same place as a horse. Okay, Avil, uh, roll me a d20, please. <sighs> this is the, the biggest roll of my life. Okay. <laughs> not 20! I'm not even kidding! That could be bad! Oh God, what, a, what a terrible waste! It's a dex check! Oh Ooh. no! <laughs> Don't do this to me! I will come downstairs and I will smack you so hard! So hard! Yeah, okay. <laughs> Make it happen! Uh, I knew I'm that was so a foul! Angry. I knew that I'm was gonna be some sort I'm of dex check! a moment! You get this the is uh, Shrek moment. the wyvern airborne, and it goes streaking straight toward the windows. Yes. Um, a perfect, perfectly aimed strike smashes into the windows. However, at the last possible moment, the weight of your impact against the glass pitches you from the wyvern's back, and you go rolling, skidding across the ground. Rolling, stand up with silver fire ready. <laughs> <Am I high? laughs> uh, the wyvern skids to a halt and kind of raises its head and looks around the uh, the chamber. You see Thanks, Shrek. Gone running across. Uh, 
Aldrich is charging behind her. Hagen. <sighs> How far away from am I from all this action? Okay, you're a full, a full, a full rounds running away from all this. Running, okay. Um, Along the battlements into the uh, to the main hall. <laughs> all right. Um, hmm. I saw her going inside. Would I have an idea where she might be going? Is there a way I could like go around and cut her off? Maybe with <sighs> you probably could. Yeah, running along the rooftops and along the side, you could get into. Well, from the great hall. The only real way she can go is up to the roof from there, to the various various apartments that are above it. And you can get along the roof of the uh, the mausoleum and cut her off that way. Yep, I'm going to climb up to the roof. Okay. You break out a, off at a run and go hurtling along the rooftops. Down below you on your left-hand side, the battle is a pitched, mangled melee of elves, Mordath troops, and tieflings. You see the tieflings hewing the, uh, the Mordath troops apart with just vicious, vicious emotion. This is personal for them. The elves, they're far more dissolute. Slice here, a disembowel there, a beheading there. It's almost like a dance for them. And then from the side, who's thundering? Cinnamon frothing, <laughs> her quarter stuff flailing around her. Chanta plows into the Mordath troops. Just like in Shrek 2. Yes! <laughs> oh boy. I'm all right. Shrek references. I'm a hero. I'm all right in that hall where everyone else is. Get where the party's at. Superfly. Just uh, mocking yes. everyone with my quarter stop as I go. <laughs> okay, uh, give me a roll for that, please. Oh, what do I roll for this? D20. Um, I like to imagine that squeeze kind of being puss in boots in the situation is like just <laughs> on my back. That's, that's an 18. 18. Okay, and then d6 for damage, please. <laughs> Three. Okay, you crack one of the Mordath troops across the side of his head. You're not even sure if he goes down or not, but you can see him stumbling sideways, blood fountaining out between his fingers, and then your horse is thundering a path through the troops ahead of you. Bellis, uh, you make it outside. There's a furious melee around you. Uh, you behind you, you see that uh, the Bone Father has stopped just at the doors of the chapel, where he's been raising his voice in a high-pitched, shrieking prayer. Um, I've turned a corner. Yeah. Uh, so he, he he doesn't see me unless he, he comes out. He's not aiming anything at you. Corruption is the right word for it. Perhaps his proximity to the eye, perhaps his alliance with Saltara, whatever the truth, he summons a fresh ally. You've seen uh, this thing before. As the winds of the abyss burst open and on great ragged wings, the Vrock returns to Valandor. For God's sake. It comes streaking towards you, Bellis. Jaws <laughs> wide open. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you've got an action? Go ahead. I've got an action, yeah. Go forth where you came from, foul creature. Okay. Go, Bellis. It's your birthday. Go, Bellis. <laughs> it's your birthday. You can do it, I believe. 14. You. Just like in Shrek 6. She. <laughs> What? Shrek the spooky version. Wow. Yeah, not for a... Uh, not Shrek for a the Halloween Halloween special. <sighs> the Brock slams into you. Uh. Bellis is lost from sight beneath its wings and slashing claws. Jadarian. This is not happening where we can see it, right? We don't know that there's a Brock. You're, in, you're inside. Yeah, yeah. Jadarian can see it, actually, but... You're muted. I did press the bloody button. Um, you say I can see her do this. Yeah, you can see Bellis under attack from the frog. Well, I've got no magical weapons. So, so the the frog also saw straight through the invisibility, right? Yeah. Okay. Sucky, I know. Do I see um, the frog by any chance? Um, possibly, Shanta. You're a little bit distractible while you're horsing around, but it's entirely possible. <laughs> Jadarian. Oh shoot, um, Soldara. Twice. Oh, you can't see Soltara. She's gone inside. Oh, okay. I thought I was in there. Um, I, 
I think it's I can't hit that bloody thing. Yeah, I know. Um, I will chase after. I'll chase after her. After Saltara. To Bellis. After you, you uh, run away, Bellis. Not that okay. I can do anything. There's no idea what you're gonna do. You can't see Bellis. I'm sorry. I can't see Bellis. Oh yeah. Okay, right. So yeah, you know there's a rock. That's all. Oh, okay. Well, it's not going after anyone I can see, so I, naturally I would go after Saltara. Yeah, okay. out the way! You race after Saltara. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, if I can shoot anyone, I'll shoot anyone. Okay. Aldrich. Okay. You're a, a few feet behind Saltara. Yeah. When as she rushes out the far side of the hall, through the archway that she's gone, another figure steps into view, his eyes red-rimmed, the great battle blade of House Valandor in his hand. It's Galric. Stay away from my wife! Oh my god, he, no, he didn't! All right. Um, first attack is a disarm. Yeah, yep. do. The second attack is going to be a trip on Galric. Okay. Alric, uh, you step forward, blade swings behind you. Avil has got to his feet, rushes to your side. Through the nearby window, you see Hagen charging along the battlements, vaulting through an upper window to cut Saltara off. Okay. Behind you, in the courtyard, Shanta screams, everybody out the way, and aims her lightning wand toward the Vrock. Bellis is almost pinned beneath its fluttering wings. Jadarian running for the stairs. Then your blade clashes with your brothers. And there we freeze frame. And roll credits. No! <laughs> Bum. Oh, fuck! <laughs> no! I need to go get pankers. To be concluded. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I took rush back. I'll try to get some painkillers. Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, uh. indeed. Oh. Oh, I thought we were going to be playing a bit longer tonight. You are yeah, the worst father in the history of fathers. I can't believe you've done this. You say that every week. Right? <laughs> 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 like in Shrek when they roll the credits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, thanks. Sorry you. about the, uh, the uh, yeah. technical issues, but that's the way it rolls. That's the way it rolls, yeah. Uh, we've got one more week. Is it one more week? One more session. One more session of Eroff. Um, July the 4th. July the 4th, yeah, so make sure you don't miss that. Um, we... We are then taking it off of air, and it's going to be a YouTube show. So we're going to take it specifically for YouTube. So <clears throat> it's not stopping. You're still going to get to watch it. Um, it will just be on YouTube. But that'll be we're back playing what September? One more week of this, and then I don't know. I have no idea. We'll sort something out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'm an um, artist. You, you can't hold me to these things. <laughs> yeah. uh, Pantheon tomorrow. <laughs> Yes. Pat in tomorrow, and then guys. one shot. Thank and Thank you. Yeah, cheers, guys. See you later. Yeah. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>